welcome back to arc tutorials this is mongodb top interview questions and answer series i'm sure at the end of this tutorial you will be able to empower yourself with knowledge that is required to crack any mongodb interview so let's go ahead and dig right into it before we start with the questions a quick word on mongodb mongodb is a popular nosql document oriented database which is mostly used by develop developers and organizations for its features like scalability, flexibility, high performance, especially in terms of handling large volumes of unstructured data. There is a lot of demand of MongoDB in the market and hence uh, it's in important for us to prepare for the interview. I hope these questions will really help you empower and gain that knowledge to crack any MongoDB interview. Let's get started. The first and the foremost, we will start with the basic questions first. What is MongoDB? MongoDB is a NoSQL document-oriented database that stores data in JSON-like documents with dynamic schemas. It is designed to handle large volumes of unstructured data. That's what you should say. That's a keep it simple, short. But if you want to explain that, you can use it to the next question, which is, what is a document in MongoDB? A document is a set of key value pairs stored in a BSON format in MongoDB. BSON is a binary representation of JSON. Okay, so a lot of times um, these questions are asked to interviewer by interviewers that what's the difference between JSON and BSON or like and those things to confuse the candidates. But here is the trick. You can say that the document is a set of key value pairs, which is nothing but JSON, right? So a MongoDB document is nothing but a JSON key value pair document. But in MongoDB, that is converted into a binary value and that value is called BSON. Okay. So remember, that's the difference between BSON and JSON. What is a collection in MongoDB? Think of it, a collection on MongoDB is a group of documents that share similar structure, right? It's equivalent to a table in a relational database. So think of a collection as a table which has all the documents inside it. But in MongoDB, we just say that a collection is a set of group of documents that share similar structure. What is a replica set in MongoDB? A replica set in MongoDB is a group of MongoDB servers that store the same data to provide redundancy and high availability. Okay. Every data that gets stored on MongoDB servers gets duplicated across different servers because if one node of the server goes down anywhere, that same data can be served from some other server. And that's why a replica set is created. So remember, a replica set in MongoDB is a group of MongoDB servers that store the same data to provide redundancy and especially high availability. What is sharding in MongoDB? Sharding in MongoDB is a method of partitioning data across multiple servers to improve performance and scalability. Sharding is nothing but you basically break down the data into different across multiple servers so that you can serve as and when is needed and that way you will help you scale it. Okay, so basically we create partitioning across different multiple servers. That technique in MongoDB is called sharding. What is indexing in MongoDB, right? Now, this is very similar to what you would already know in a relational database, right? Indexing in MongoDB is the process of creating an index on a field in a collection to improve query performance, right? Uh, you, if you want to relate, you can relate it like a primary key or a foreign key or a unique key in relational database table, right? So here, instead of table, there is a collection. Instead of a uh, um, what column you would say on a field, right? So you can draw some parallels and you can explain this, but the concept is similar in MongoDB. Index will be added on a field in a collection to improve the performance. What are the different types of indexing in MongoDB? MongoDB supports several different types of in indexing, including single field, compound, mul multi-key and text and geospatial indexing. Okay, so these are the different types of indexings that are available, single field, compound, multi-key, text, and geospatial indexing. 
what is MapReduce in MongoDB? Now, MapReduce is a data processing technique in MongoDB that involves mapping data to a set of key value pairs, reducing the values based on the keys and aggregating the results. If this sounds similar to you, like just what we do in arrays, you're right, that's exactly what it is. In MongoDB also, MapReduce would do exactly same what MapReduce does for arrays, which is it will map each of the data key value pair, reduce them to a value so that you have an aggregated result. For example, you can take the value and say count the number of uh, say taxes, salary, etc, etc. Right? So basically at the end you get one value, which is what a map reduce would give you. What is the aggregation pipeline in MongoDB? The aggregation pipeline is a framework in MongoDB that allows for the processing of data through a series of stages, including filtering, sorting, grouping and transforming data. So basically, you build a pipeline through which data goes through different stages. In one, you filter. In the next pipeline, in the next pro stage, you sort it. Then you group, then you transform. So you can build a pipeline to achieve the final output that you want to give back as part of the API. So remember, aggregation pipeline is a framework that allows us to go process of data through various stages. What is the difference between update and save in MongoDB? Update method is similar to what we do uh, the post and put, right? Update method will update an existing document, whereas save will save uh, either an update or an existing, or if it doesn't find an existing one, it will insert a new document, just like how our post and put works, right? Uh, HTTP methods. So remember, save will first check whether there is a document existing. If yes, it will update it. If not, it will create one, whereas update will only update, it will not save. What is GridFS in MongoDB? GridFS is a specification for storing and retrieving large files such as images, videos in MongoDB. Okay, so that's a grid file system, which is what is stored, which is what is used for storing and retrieving large uh, uh, files. Now, when we talk about large files, we are talking in terms of the binary size. What is the difference between a primary key and a secondary key in MongoDB, right? Now, primary key in MongoDB is a unique identifier for a document, whereas a secondary key is used for indexing and querying data. In a collection, let's say you have multiple fields, you will have underscore document ID, right? That's the primary key, but you can also add another key on other fields which can be used purely for indexing, improving performance or querying data. So that's the difference between a primary key and secondary key in MongoDB. How does MongoDB ensure data consistency? So MongoDB uses a two-phase commit protocol to ensure that data consistency is distributed in environments. Okay, so the answer to this you should say is that MongoDB uses a two-phase commit protocol. That's the keyword here that you should remember. How does MongoDB handle schema changes? Now, this is a very, very interesting question because a lot of times interviewers will ask you this. MongoDB allows for flexible schemas and schemas can be changed without affecting existing data. Okay, which means let's say your collection was having 10 fields so far. In the 11th document, you can add a new field in your collection without affecting the previous data. Right. So that's what you should explain that MongoDB ha allows flexible schemas. That means schema can be changed anytime without ex affecting the existing data. How does MongoDB handle transactions? Now, this is a very, very interesting question because they're trying to ask you about the same ACID principles that are applied to any relational database. MongoDB supports multi-document transactions that allow for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. That's the ACID principle that is used in relational databases as well. What is the role of MongoD process in MongoDB? Now that's a MongoD is nothing but Mongo daemon. Process is the primary daemon process in MongoDB that manages data storage, indexing and access right so hence it's very very important they are trying to understand if you know how to manage mongodb instances so that's what mongod does it it's a primary daemon process in mongodb that manages data storage 
indexing and access. What is the role of a Mongo shell in MongoDB? Now Mongo shell is nothing but it's a command line interface that allows users to interact with MongoDB and perform administrative tasks. Just like you would have a console or a terminal, similarly Mongo shell is that kind of a command line interface or a, you can say a terminal where you can type commands and get do all your processing. How does MongoDB handle security? Now MongoDB provides several security features like authentication, authorization, encryption, auditing, um, multi 2 FA, right? So all those things are handled by MongoDB. So it's purely, uh, it's solid, it's secured, and it's reliable. What is the difference between a join and a lookup in MongoDB? A join in MongoDB involves combining data from different multiple collections while a lookup is used for retrieving data related from another collection. I can tell you if you are attending a MongoDB interview, this question is bound to be asked. What is a join in MongoDB? It's simple. You take multiple collections, you join them and you give the result. That is called a join in MongoDB. But let's say you want to perform some kind of a join like SQL, then that's where you would use lookup which is used for retrieving data from another collection which is related. Okay, so use lookup. Remember, this is very, very important. How does MongoDB handle data backup and recovery? MongoDB provides several backup and recovery options, including hot backups, point in time recovery, and incremental backups. Okay, in conclusion, MongoDB is a popular SQL document oriented database that provides scalability, flexibility, high performance for handling unstructured data. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have learned enough on MongoDB. I've tried to cover all the aspects of MongoDB in this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you do, please let me know in the comment section. Also do check out the other interview question answer series on my channel. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.